You look good in that track suit, mm -hmm. right? We're I know gonna have was... to hear all about it from Jill. Well, exactly, she comes in, in, comes in a few minutes. All right, so it was a great afternoon. It started off with plenty of sunshine, just some high clouds floating in, but now you can see that the clouds have really started to push in uh, as we head into the evening. So this is a live look, I believe, with our Long Beach camera. You can see that it is just a little bit more gray and overcast. Well, that's because we have a system to the north of us, and as I mentioned yesterday, things are quickly changing. We went from temperatures well above average yesterday. We knocked down. To at least 10 degrees. So yesterday our high was only about 87. Today 77. So you can see definitely noticeably cooler today compared to yesterday. Normally our high should be about 73. So we're still above average, not bad, but just not quite as warm as yesterday. Sun going down tonight at 7:25. This is what it feels like still outside. We still have low 80s for San Bernardino, 75 for Ontario, 73 currently for Van Nuys, and you can see temperatures much cooler compared to yesterday. We're down by 13 degrees for Burbank, 10 near the airport, and 15 for Camarillo. All right, so get ready. We're looking at some really strong winds picking up as we head into tomorrow afternoon as that low pressure system to the north of us continues to push a little bit closer to the region. So instead of all of that moisture that it's bringing to the northern part of the state, we're going to see a lot more wind activity. Maybe not quite as strong as what we saw on Thursday, but it's definitely going to be pretty breezy, especially for the lower elevations and very strong gusty winds for the high deserts and also for the mountains. So again, we have a high wind warning for the Mojave Desert. We have a wind advisory for the high deserts, the Antelope Valley, the Apple, the Lucerne Valleys, the Foothills, the Mountain Communities, and then even stronger winds that we're watching for the Antelope Valley, for Lancaster, for Palmdale, and also for Fraser Park. And then get this, I know we are in April, but there is a chance that we could see some snow showers being squeezed out of the clouds from that very system. So again, it's not going to bring us a lot of moisture, maybe isolated drizzle for some parts, but we definitely are looking at a winter weather advisory through the I-5 corridor, through the Grapevine, through the Fraser Park area. So that's something to look at as we head into tomorrow night. But those sea breezes will pick up, and then we're we're going to see those winds strengthening for the mountains and deserts coming in from the southwest to the west. And then again, light snow, very possible. The future cast shows we will start to see those breezes pick up just before the lunch hour, especially for Lancaster, for Apple Valley, for Ventura, and also for Oxnard. You can see we start to see the yellows and then also the oranges. And then with the winds get even stronger by tomorrow afternoon, staying with us, double digit wind speeds through tomorrow night. And then we start to see that wind relax once that system passes us. So temperatures to start the week off will be below average, mid to low 60s, warming up nicely. Though once we head into Wednesday, back to you.